shrimp room tour. Right now I have one, two, three, eight tanks. First tank is my Caradina tank, the up and running Caradina tank. Bunch of blue bolts in here, King Kongs. I didn't even see that leftover uh, mulberry leaf. Went on vacation, so I put like four of them in here. So that way the shrimp can eat. But I assume that there's babies in this tank somewhere. I can't find them though, because the tank is so overrun with Ratala. Carpet in Ratala, everywhere. Ratala, at some point I need to come back and trim them. Also need to trim this uh, water lettuce. That's, oh my God, it's, it's insane. It's like too much. I didn't realize it spread so fast. But it's a beautiful tank though. I love this tank. But I need to do something with the Ratala. It looks so natural. I kind of want to leave it. Then again, it's like hiding a lot of my plants. So, at some point, I'm going to have to trim it up. There's a skeletal of a marberry leaf. Marberry is the best. I wish I can grow a tree so I can just go there and pick them rather than order them online. Anyway, that's my Caradina tank. Over here to the left is my call tank. It's huge java moss in there. I need to put that in a better spot. But tons of shrimp in here. Um, I don't trim the water lettuce, I just let it grow. And look how the water lettuce is like growing out of the tank, it's crazy. But it's just loaded with water lettuce. Look a pretty nice environment for the call shrimp. Just need to move that java moss back some, it's kind of blocking the view. There's a few hundred in there. And actually there's buried call shrimp in there too, so wondering how the babies are gonna look. And over here is my other 40 breeder. Uh, the Caradina tank is a 40 breeder. And this is my other 40 breeder, which is the um, Neo Caradina. I select like the best Neo Caradinas that I have and I put them in here. <clears throat> which is kind of a mistake because they're breeding and the babies are not so, you know. That's the downfall to the Neo. You can't predict what the babies are going to look like. Um, but a lot of red in this tank. I have this tiger lotus, red tiger lotus, and um, I forgot the name of that plant. It looked like a red tala, but it's red. I have some boost in there, which is which is great because the boost, palantria, whatever, is starting to grow. You can see the new leaves coming out. Very slow growing plant, but they're gorgeous. I need to stock this tank more though. Um, I'll do that once. I get more of the pretty Caradinas. I have plenty, hundreds. But I need to spend time to just go through the tank, do some calling, and these are the tanks. This is my, I just fled, <laughs> fed some uh, snowflake. That's why the tank looks so white. What I do is I break it up and then just drop it in so that way it spreads everywhere. So the shrimp and snails are not competing. Anyway, this is my cherry tank. You see lots and lots of cherries, lots and lots of babies. All that snowflake will be gone in about 15 minutes. There's so many in there. And this is my orange tank. Same thing, I fed it um, with the uh, snowflake. And pretty much all gone already. Lots of babies, lots. There's actually more orange in there than, uh, than I have read. And this is my new 40 breeder Caradina tank I just set up yesterday. Um, I just put some Val in there, a couple of, um, I think that's dwarf hair grass or dwarf sage. Um, and I'm gonna let it cycle for about, about a month before I add shrimp to it. Lots of uh, woodwork in there, lots of Driftwood, some lob, some uh, dragon stones sticking up out of the ground. This might be my most beautiful tank yet. But I still have lots of plants to add to it. 
I'm also going to um, add CO2. By the way, I do have CO2 on. I have a, that CO2 split to the carotene and the neocarotene tank. This tank will have its dedicated CO2. Probably get that tomorrow. I already have the regulator with a solenoid. And um, probably get that tomorrow or Monday. Now here is my blue velvet tank. Um, not as much blue velvet in here as like the uh, orange and red, but it's probably about 50, lots of babies. I haven't called that tank either. And then to the right of that is my yellow tank. I only have, I don't know, probably about 20 of them in there. Again, look at all that water. The water lettuce is insane. Insane water lettuce. I need to trim this up, but I kind of like the natural look. Um, I think the shrimp like it, they're always grazing off it, but at some point I need to trim it down, make it look a little more aesthetically pleasing. And actually I won't, because I don't care about aesthetics with these tanks, these bottom tanks. I'm more interested in aesthetics with the show tanks, the 40 breeders, I have three 40 breeders, the 10 gallons down here are just breeding tanks. So I will leave that the way that they are. It's more for comfort for the, uh, the shrimp. And I don't care about that tank. Yes, and I have a lot of distilled water. I don't have a RO unit. I'll get one at some point, but right now, I just whenever I go to Walmart, I just buy about five or six distilled water. They're like 80 something cents each. All right, that's it.